You're watching 41 Action News. A local domestic violence shelter has run out of room as calls continue to increase during the pandemic. They're also running out of funding. Back in July, Shawnee Mission North graduate Dr. Phil and his wife Robin heard about the work at Newhouse and gifted them $15,000 through the Win Georgia Smiles Foundation. The shelter used that money to renovate their children's center, now challenging the community to match that grant to provide a safe place for survivors to stay while at capacity. 41 Action News anchor Gabriella Pagan sat down with a survivor to talk about the importance of the shelter. We're not showing the woman's face. We've also altered her voice in an effort to protect her identity and safety. It wasn't easy, but I knew that if I didn't do it now, I may not have another chance to get out. Imagine spending years agonizing over whether to leave and how, only to discover there are no beds available. I called a couple shelters and they were full. And it wasn't until I got together with Courtney that, you know, she said, we are full. And my heart instantly sank. I'm like, here we, here we go again. But she said, we have the funding to help you out and get you a safe place to stay. With calls for domestic violence up nearly 30% since the pandemic began, funding and bed availability at Newhouse Shelter is quickly depleting. Now they're launching an SOS because they need your help raising money. There are only so many of them. There aren't enough of them and there isn't enough funding. Other than a few bags packed, she had no plans, but says making the decision to leave gave her more empowerment than it did fear. Making that call is very courageous in itself. And just knowing that uh, um, the person on the other side, we're here to support, we're there here to help you. Adult therapist at Newhouse, Andrea Thornton, says it can be scary leaving an abusive environment because of how familiar it is. How many people are just like me and kept their mouths shut because they're scared and they don't know what to do and they don't know how to get help? The seriousness of her abuse was so severe, fleeing for safety meant the difference between life and death. You think, oh, this time, this time it'll be different. And it starts all over, just starts all over. And then I started getting threats of how he was going to kill me, the five different ways of how he was going to make it look like suicide or an accident because I'm so dumb that people, people would believe it. Now, finding the strength and courage to keep fighting through her children. I know my kids need a mom and they need me to be strong and step up and move myself into a situation that we all deserve. In Kansas City, Gabriella Pagan, 41 Action News.